While filming my review of the Ember Mug 2, I did a wide variety of testing between it and other coffee cups from around my house, including several dual wall options. And while I do admit that the title of this video might be a little bit exaggerated, depending on your reason for wanting to buy a dual wall cup, it might actually be 100% accurate. Dual wall cups are great for a variety of reasons. Mainly, they look really cool and the outer surface doesn't get hot meaning that you can have very simple, modern, handleless designs and still be able to hold them comfortably. When measuring the external temperature of a dual wall cup versus a standard porcelain cup, the dual wall reached a maximum of 40 degrees, while the porcelain cup was at a finger scorching 65. So if cool looks or a cool touch are what you're after, then go right ahead. I will actually leave some of my favorite dual wall options linked down in the description below. However, if you are thinking of buying a dual wall cup in the hopes of keeping your drinks warmer for longer, then prepare to be disappointed. You see, the concept that heat rises cannot be understated, especially in a scenario where the entire upper surface of your container is wide open to the atmosphere, like in the case of a coffee cup. That is where you are losing the vast majority of your drink temperature not through the cup walls. When tested side by side, even a very thin standard cup performed almost identically in terms of the drink temperature over time. Through 40 minutes of measurements, the drinks were within two degrees of one another. Where dual wall cups do have a slight advantage is right when you pour the drink in. Because they effectively have next to zero thermal mass, you don't lose that immediate five or six degrees due to the cup itself warming up. For a smaller volume drink like espresso, this might be useful, but for a full-sized cup, all it really accomplishes is making you wait longer before your drink is at a comfortable drinking temperature. Now, just out of curiosity, I also conducted the same test with a latte cup and unsurprisingly got very similar results, except for the fact that the initial gap was almost 10 degrees thanks to the very thick wall gap on these Kruv Latte Art cups. If you really want to increase the amount of time that your coffee stays warm, you essentially have two options. Add a lid or use the Ember Mug. Simply placing a coaster on top of my drink significantly extended the temperature retention and once again reinforces that this is where the vast majority of your heat is being lost. If you are a really slow drinker, I do absolutely still recommend the Ember Mug and I have a full review that you can check out up here. So, dual wall glasses accomplish essentially nothing when it comes to keeping your drink warmer for longer, but they do look fantastic and they do keep your hands comfortable. If you want to check out any of the cups mentioned, I will of course have them linked down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.